Okay, everybody, we're back again with another game saved from extinction. This is Resident Evil Uprising for the mobile phone. The lost Resident Evil game that people uh, don't really talk about or remember. This one's actually pretty dang cool. So we're going to jump into it. I'm not alone this time. Uh, I'm joined here. I have no idea what's going on. By Emily, who has no idea about mobile games like this or Resident Evil to begin with. We also have my uh, cat on the other side of the door freaking the heck out. Uh, so let's learn a little bit about this before we play to get some background information. This is Resident Evil Uprising version 1.05, released in 2009 by Gameloft. So that's a good Dustin sign. Dustin and Dave. Dustin and Dave worked on it. Gameloft did a lot of very good games uh, early on in their career. Nowadays, I don't know so much, uh, but they did some pretty impressive things to kind of legitimize mobile games on the cell phone. So this was 2009, the last game we played was also a 2009 release and look at the team on this there is quite a bit of people involved sound director sound designer sound qa manager you only have a couple of sounds going on but maybe this is going to be impressive okay so let's go back we are going to go help and we're going to get in some information okay d-pad that we don't actually have a d-pad it's the number pad up down left right move okay move forward turn around okay so we do have combat it looks like shoot in the gray zone you're going to miss the target okay shoot in the yellow zone you're going to injure the target shoot in the red zone you're going to kill him in one shot or shoot at the weak spot of a special enemy okay target mode crosshair up down so it looks like everything is fairly straight forward d-pad center key inventory and igm for the soft key i don't know what that means all right so this is Resident Evil Uprising. Let's jump into a new game. And uh, where is this new game? There we go. Okay, so let's jump into it. Raccoon City is being overrun by zombies. This is explaining the game to you. The mysterious virus reported by Star's operative Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield. That's from the first game. So this looks like it's taking place after it. Is running loose and has contaminated the city. An unsuspecting visitor enters Raccoon City and soon takes refuge at the police department. So this looks like the story for Resident Evil 2. Mm -mm. Here we go. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. Oh, she's got a badonkadonk. Hello, is anyone here? Hello? Oh. Oh. Who's that? Um, hello. Well, the cat just fell right off the table for no reason. Uh, hello. Maybe didn't like being talked to like that. Hey, how's it going? Uh-oh. Look, I'm sorry I bothered you, okay? Just uh, don't come any closer. Man's looks hungry. He, do he doesn't look good. Maybe this is not a person you want to have a conversation with. Oop. Wait. Don't shoot. Get down. I don't think he's me. Why don't we shot right into her head? Thanks. What's going on? I arrived in town. This whole place went insane. Totally normal conversation when you almost get attacked she, by a zombie. She didn't even get down. Hey, what's going on? Hey. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? <laughs> name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. My name's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. He uh -oh. was the star of the first game. Maybe Chris was that man. No, Chris isn't here right now. Bad timing for us, then. Here, take this. You'll need it, random stranger. You found the 9mm pistol. Gave us a weapon. Let's take a look around and try to find out what's going on. Why do you just give this <coughs> random girl a gun? Because it's a zombie town. You can check the other characters to exchange inventory items, and you can switch control between Leon and Claire via the pause menu. Oh, you can be bull. Uh, yes. The original game had two campaigns. Two discs, I believe. You played one uh, Claire adventure and one Ken and Leon adventure. His was way better. Uh, hers kind of stunk because you had to save a little girl. The game will automatically save when you reach the next checkpoint at a new location. You can also manually save the game. Okay. So our controls are 2, 8, 4, and 6. we got this isometric. She has got... It looks like she's got a lot of junk in that trunk. What is this? I know it's supposed to be art, but it creeps me out. Okay. Yeah, she was looking at art up there. So, I only played a couple minutes of this, this kind of first area to figure out what's going on. You found the silver key card. Uh, so, we're kind of on our own. So, let's go. 
where are we even going to find our bro? Yeah, we're trying to find our brother. We're at the police station. Mm, so maybe we should leave or go look on that pooter. It's sparkling. Yeah, I think it's sparkling. Why? You found op report number two. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We're down to four people. We failed to secure weapons. We won't last much longer. We agreed on a plan to escape through the sewer. We can't just wait here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the door leading underground. We left the key behind in the eastern office since it's unlikely that if any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whomever finds it. Richard or Elliot Edward. I don't know if this is a reference to if it's in the second game or if it's a reference to Outbreak, which is a PS2 game where they kind of got away through the sewers. I don't remember. It's been too long. What we found here, it's the secretary's computer. It has an ID card swiper. We picked up an ID card, but let's see. The base has a coat of arms, the slogan, Unity, Discipline, Obedience. Her scales are off balance. It looks like they trigger some sort of mechanism. Can you poke them? No, but we can put something on there when we get it. We don't have anything except a key card yet. So remember that. We'll come back to that. It's a horror game, but it's also a puzzle game. This looks like uh, dogs playing poker. You found the Black King plug. What? I don't know. What is it? We have a knife, pistol, there's a key card. Black King plug. It's a plug shaped like a chess piece, so it's like a pawn. Okay. Maybe we can put that on the scales? I doubt they're going to make this super hard to play. All right, so we'll select the king plug. Okay, it's active. How do you use it? Just push the action button. R? No, it's, it's 5 or F, depending on the pad. Nah, so it doesn't look like that's what it is. Okay. Alright, let's keep going. We have the card. We know where the swiper is, but I just want to... It's a sort of game you don't want to miss anything. You need to collect everything. This is a smart way to do it, though. So this was the terminal. So let's swipe the card. Ah, another zombie. They're all over the place. So let's turn around. Shoot them. Wow, you're bullets. really so... Oh, okay. Okay, so red hits you, them. You have to wait till the fire <coughs> comes up, I guess. Yeah, so you can't shoot them from far away because you will lose ammo. And that automatically goes up and down. Okay, so we get that. That's good on combat. Now, they said we can swap to, to Leon, right? Resume. How do we? How are we supposed to swap to him? Go back to the menu. Go to player. Oh, okay. Leon. Okay. Resume. So I wonder if the game changes. Probably not. You probably have to keep them close together because you're going to be able to need to swap items. There's something oh, on this, the couch. Oh, this this lit up. City pamphlet. Hello and welcome to Raccoon City, a clean and private town dedicated to families. Sure. It's a private town? Okay, I don't want to read that. It just tells me about Raccoon. It didn't It didn't trigger for her. Okay. Go in that back area. Yeah, let's go back to Cole. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Oops, Sam is on. Uh, oh, resume. Oopsie. I don't know what was taking you so long. We'll stay over there. Help me! So this is the girl, a Spencer girl, I think. She, oop, what the fuck? Oh, there's dogs. Got them. Two-headed dogs. Weird. Those were real scary in the first game. Wait. Hey, little girl, wait. No, we're just gonna let her. Dang, she's gone. <laughs> Dang, she got away. You okay? What? Yeah, yes. I just saw a little girl around here. No, Who really? Is she? Oh. I don't know, but it's too dangerous for her to stay al to stay here alone. We should look for her and find a way out. That's so weird. Sounds like a plan. Before I forget, here's a radio. Let's keep in touch when something comes up. So it looks like you may be able to split. That's interesting. All right, Claire. You screwed up not grabbing that kid. But... 
There was something on, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Found Chris's diary. Oh, uh -oh. Claire, your brother. August 8th. I talked to the chief today again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-Virus research in that mansion. That's the first game. Anyone infected turns into a zombie, but the entire mansion went up in the explosion along with any incriminating evidence. Mm -hmm. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. Looks like I'm running out of options. They save their friends at the first one. They blow up the mansion, but the virus is out, and then it infects the town. We've received a lot of reports about the strange creatures appearing throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. That's so long. Oh, my God. With the help of Jill and Barry, those are two from the first game, I finally obtained information vital to the case. Umbrella has begun research on a new G-virus, a variation of the original T-virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? They are. They've created a lot of viruses. This game's been around letters. forever. They got a lot of alphabet to go. We talked it over and decided to fly to Umbrella Main HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because... Doing so will put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. So while we come to see him, he's on his way to Europe. And that Code Veronica, I think, takes place in Europe. You go to find him over there. Well, nice of him to not tell us. He could have at least said, I'm going on vacation and saved her the trip to coming in. Oh, a fax just came in. I haven't heard that. A fax all day long. Nothing to see here. You said a fax came in. Oh, I guess i got to go to the fax machine. It's a phone. Where's the fax machine? Uh, Do kids today even know what a fax machine looks like? Oh, this a one. Computer. There's a sticky note uh, tacked up here. It's a recipe for a Jill sandwich. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Uh, oh, Jill, you were almost. They almost made you a Jill. She got almost got smashed between in a in a room with a big door. It's a bad joke. We still gotta find the fax machine. I feel like it's down there. Yeah, it's probably down here somewhere. I love Claire just standing there. She's having a good time. She's really putting in work. It's probably. Ask Ludwig. To go down that hallway. <coughs> Two things. He found Mel to Chris. Mr. Chris Redfield, Rockham City Police Department, Starts Division. As per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation to discover the following. Regarding the G-Virus, under development by Umbrella Inc., so far it is unconfirmed that the G-Virus even exists. We're continuing our investigation. Regarding Mr. Brian Irons, he's the boss of the uh, police department, chief of Raccoon City Police Department. Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large sum of funds in bribes from Umbrella. So he kind of, this is just, oh boy, that's a lot. There's a lot of talking in this. There's a lot of words. Uh, even in the original. But the head of the police department essentially let them do what they want because he got paid and ca helped cause this outbreak. Typical okay. small town. Typical small town. It looks like the fax machine is turned on. So this is the machine. Did I already have a fax? Chris, did I already... No, I don't. Okay. I don't understand. That is the fax machine. Oh, there's a trash can in the way. <laughs> so that computer was the one that said something about a fax, right? I guess not. It says the fax machine is turned on. More down here. It looks like the fax... Yeah, okay. Well, let's keep going down. Uh, are these computers... That's a fax machine. I mean, they all look like technically fax machines. Nothing? Okay. I guess if we go down this way, we're going to find the girl. Yeah, that's where she went. Let's go find her. Let's start from the middle. There was a door here that I wanted to check out. It's a Let's plaque. I guess they're all doors, huh? Okay, well, let's start here and work our way. Oh, we got a zombie. Got him. There's a gas. You found the gasoline. You found that gasolina. What's that thing on the shelf in the back there? There's a little monkey guy. Looks like a little naked man. You found the green monkey. Oh, maybe he can be set on the... Uh... Do we go up that stairway? I think the monkey man can be set on the scales. Lowering the chair, the stairs, but there's no crank. Okay, so we gotta find a crank. Gotcha. Is 
So what? Probably in that other doorway. Yeah, let's go to this door. There was a door right here, wasn't there? Yes. I know it's a door that works because there's a thing behind it. It's locked. There's a card slot with a spade symbol, so we need a spade key. Oops. It's very Resident Evil of you. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Something. You found some ammo. Good. This is a police department, so that does actually make sense. Can we use that monkey to go on the... So this is a slow-paced game, but for a mobile phone, it's actually... Your C-Report... Oh, it's just going to talk about zombies. This is actually a really cool mobile game. You're bored at the dentist's office. Yeah. It's probably not super long, but it's not... Just like a throwaway fast game. You have some stuff. Uh, okay, can we put our monkey boy... I think oh, he's just... No, we can't put our monkey boy in. We didn't get it. Can we put our gasoline on it? Thing to keep us company. No. No, this is Resident Evil. Everything goes somewhere. So let's go back to search. If we... Sw I wonder if we... S probably if we switch to Claire here, he stays there. That could open up some interesting gameplay ideas if some person is in another level. So let's go up this way. I don't want to try to find that girl because she annoys me. Wow. And you just have to babysit her. I'm assuming these don't open because there's nothing that looks like behind them. No, that has a club symbol on it. There wasn't anything behind the first door. That's opened. true. It's locked. I don't have a key. So if it says you don't have a key, it probably won't open. But if it says you don't have a certain type of key, it probably will open. Oh, this is open. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Down. This is... Yeah, there's a whole lot of them. Yeah. There's another monkey man. There's, oh, oh, there's shoot, different oh, color shoot, oh, shoot. ones. Yeah. There's a blue one and a yellow one. Okay. So you gotta probably put the green one yep. in place somewhere. Square, yellow carving in it. That's our monkey, right? I think that's our monkey. Yeah. No, we gotta find the green, the green carving. Do we well, put them in? No, they'll get the yellow ones in there. Oh, that's right. You gotta find the green monkey. It has a square yellow carving in it. Yeah, okay, so we gotta find the green. Oh, there's blue, red. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're I right. I literally just said that. I totally didn't see him. So he's gotta go... Look in the empty ones. Yeah, okay. Bookshelf, square-shaped recess in it. So that one gets nothing. I don't know, look, look in that middle one. Does it say we... what? Bookshelf has a square shaped recess in it. Mm -hmm. Is it going to make us try each one or do we need to get a bunch of different monkeys? So let's try. Now see what it says. Oh, okay. Can I put them in any one? That tells me there's going to be two, probably two more other monkeys. Check the blue one to see if it says the same thing as the yellow one. That's true blue carving on it. Okay, so we'll leave the green one there. We may need to put them in a certain sequence. Oh, a lot of things are blinking. You found the Black Knight plug, so that we found our second piece of the chess piece. <clears throat> user registration. Temporary user registration for the experimental room. Guest. Password none. Okay, so remember guest. Letter one. Brian Irons, Chief of Raccoon. We've lost the mansion lab facility due to the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will wills no lasting effect upon our continued virus research. I've deposited the amount of $10,000 to your account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Sounds suspicious. It sure does. Once completed, I am certain that it will be appointed to the executive board for Umbrella Inc., it is imperative that we proceed with caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their progress. My wife, Annette, will continue to be your contact. William Birkin, 
That little girl, I think, is Birkin, is William's child that has been lost here. So he's a bad guy. In Resident Evil 3, they create a monster to hunt down the remaining stars members because Jill is still in town. But that takes place, I think, at the same time as this. It is quite the complex lore. And I love it because you can put in like a five hour video of the lore of Resident Evil. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Let's see if there's something on this computer. Nope. All right, so this is the monkey room. Monkey, monkey. And we need two more monkas <coughs> to do something in the kitchen. You found the bottle. Okay, so we're going to put something in there eventually. Fill it up with water. Get a little drink, drink. You found the med kit. Okay, is there something in the fridge maybe? No. Alright, so nothing left here and all these doors are closed. Let's switch to Claire. Thank you. And Chris will stay there since she's already closer. So we'll go down and chase this. I think that's Sherry Birkin, if I remember right. Can you try those guys? Mm -hmm. I just did. Ooh. See, I don't know how the distance is before the targeting thing comes up. It kind of makes you panic. It sure does. It's a very panicky game. You found the King O Spades. O Spades. I think that unlocks one of the doors. Found a lighter. Four and hours. sometimes you'll find stuff that you actually don't need to do anything with that just takes space in your inventory. And you can swap between characters. So I can give Leon the the lighter if I need to. Where are you going? One of these doors had a spade on it. Oh. But in that room, the locker's open, so I wanted to try these lockers. It's up there. Yeah, it's one of these. Okay. I don't think it was this one. It was that one. Yeah. See, maybe instead of walking around slowly, you would switch to... um. Yeah, but he doesn't have that piece. You have to give it to him. Okay, so Is was it that not the, the same inventory? No, it's a spade. No, it's not a shared inventory. You have to. If I go to Chris or Leon here, oops, hey Leon, and then I can exchange oh, stuff. I see. That's weird. I guess it makes it so you can't. Yeah, you can't oh. run to one end and then come back. Okay, so that's a. It was a spade. There was one door down by the first desk. Yeah, that's a club we have a spade. Yeah, you're right. There was another door here. Dang trash can. Th this right one. There, that one. It's a lot on the floor in here. There's a card symbol with the spade over it. Okay, so Does this work? It sure does. That's a good lock. You just slide a playing card in. Okay. Whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> This is bad. This is bad. This Face is them, bad. Hun. I'm trying. Okay. You have to okay. be like a certain. Is that my health? Oh shit. I need a med kit then. The other guy has it. Oh, Leon has it. Okay. Well, let's be careful in this room. Get that big book. It does look important. C4 explosives. That was not a book. That was not a book. That was a bomb. There's trash in the room. Can't walk over it. Those look like tire marks or something. Doesn't it? Like it's, something was pulled here. It's something. Can I use the C4 explosives on there? No, it's not going to let me. Okay. Thankfully, you can't use an item that is needed. But what is this? It's locked. So it looks like there was something that was pulled there. So this 
We'll have to come back here for sure. This is actually a big room. Pretty cool game. See, there's another marking right here. It's like the lockers got shifted. Yeah. I found the arsonist's book. How to make a Molotov cocktail. Ingredients: bottle, rag, gas lighter. Good information. Check. Maybe there's a knife. It's like the anarchist. You found the M79. Oh, that's a grenade launcher. That's end game material. Nothing in there, but found the detonator. So we have all the parts to make a bomb. Yeah, I got the explosives and the detonator. a detonator and a lighter and a rag. We have a bottle also, and we have gas. So we can make a Molotov. We sure can. Okay, so we'll keep going. It's a big room. It's Almost a it's a big police room. station. I, it was like in a gothic cathedral or something and they took it over in the game okay where is leon we need medicine because he picked it up do you remember where he was he's up there okay um what do you have okay. good kit we want he has a chess piece, nothing else. A glass bottle, that's the Molotov. <coughs> that's the gas. And you can make a Molotov cocktail with the rag bottle and glass. Okay, you found the Molotov cocktail. Alright. That's good. Now we need to heal. It feels great. A full heart. Okay. Let's go get the child. Let's go get the child. There's no way out of that area. So we have to go... down. I don't think there was a way out of there, was there? I think I so. Think so. Nothing in there. And she went... this way. Maybe she's in the closet. Maybe. Crawl through this stuff, though. Blow it up. Oh, that's a good idea. Big brain. Maybe we can see for this. I don't know how to wire detonators. Leon might know how. Oh, he's the cop. I'm not, so he might know. So let's bring him down anyway, since we can't go that way. I'm legitimately having more fun with this stupid mobile game than a couple actual triple-a releases over the past few years this is interesting at the very least doop 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 he walks like a sims character doop 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 hey claire can you give me the boom booms uh detonator let's give him the big gun oh i can't take the big gun she got the Molotov. Okay. Let's switch to or him. Did you get the C4? The C4 and the detonator. Okay. okay so go blow it up. Let's try not to get ourselves killed. So we want the C4. There, that should do it. Run away! <laughs> I like how it auto runs. It auto runs so I don't blow myself up. What about the rest of the? Oh boy, we, that that was a big bomb. All right, so those double doors are going to be our way out of this level. But let's go in here. Ah. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better, but those guys do do some damage. Anything in here? Oh, there was. Angel statuette. I believe that probably maybe goes on the thing. Scale. Yes. It does make sense. Or maybe there's another thing, like one is an angel, one's a devil. Could be. That's a crank for the thing. Okay, we're on a roll. See something on the desk? Yes. Ops report one. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. We will attempt to rescue new survivors and keep the disease from spreading. 
Chief Irons made the decision to scatter all the weapons throughout the building to prevent their possible seizure. This has made it extremely difficult. He screwed the, the cops, essentially, and they all died because the boss was working for the bad guys. Mm -mm. I think in Resident Evil 2, he locks all the guns away in the armory, but doesn't tell anyone the passcode, so they all die. Super crooked. He is incredibly crooked. Uh, he dies a horrible death, and so does his daughter. Mm. But I think that was an addition in the remake. I really do need to play the remake. I have it. Resident Evil 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. Broken mirror. Valve handle. It's different. Okay. And then this door didn't do anything. It's locked from the inside. All right. So. For someone that runs through things, I want to try that angel statue. What about the stairway? Yeah, we'll try the stairway here too. Let's work our way down, working Waddling down, around. down, waddling around. Do do do. Let's give this the little angel. It worked. It looks like to trigger some sort of mechanism. Okay. You didn't even read it. No, that's what it said before. It triggered something, but. Well, we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. Anything in this room? No, still dogs playing poker. I don't want to miss like a door opening in this room on accident. I don't think anything did. Okay. So that opened something somewhere else. Where was the crank thing? Was up here. So let's crank it up. Don't, 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 don't. Okay, crank. Crank. Okay. Takes us to the roof, I assume. No. Where are we? Let's get what this. What is that red? That's a med kit. We need that. What's there? That is a puzzle. Let's see if there's anything else that pops up here. Do we have anything to pry it open? I don't think so. Excuse my knife. We need some sort of crank. Not a crank, but a uh, crowbar. Okay, so let's check what this is. No, there's nothing over here. Nothing over there. Come on, Chris. Nothing. Okay, so maybe we don't need to be here yet. We need something to pry that open, though, so... It's a later problem. Oh, I can't go down. Uh-oh. 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 Is right. <laughs> I hope we don't need anything, because Claire can't help us. I wonder if she can come up here and we both get stuck. There's no way we can get stuck. That doesn't make sense. We'll get Claire. It doesn't even say... Maybe you broke it. Maybe I did. Oh, and it's because we still have the knife. It's trying to use the, the knife. That makes sense. You're just walking Yeah, or stabbing. just stabbing shit. We're just stabbing the electronics. Looks like this thing's missing a gear. We don't have a gear, we have a valve, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we can go down. I was just trying to stab the fucking ladder. I'm wondering why it doesn't work. This shit doesn't work. 